understood the last time that the characters take you on the trip. But can't you point them towards that dinner? You know, I point my characters towards your destination. I can point them. It's like giving directions to your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it seems clear in your head. You know exactly where you want her to go. And yet, half an hour later, she calls you on the phone and goes, I'm lost. <laughs> or she goes, I've decided to go someplace else. I'll see you in an hour or two. No, my characters can play Shanghai if they want to. <laughs> okay. Yes, she is. Uh, sorry, she she ever hand up before? Yes. yes. Um, mm. It keeps on changing, but how many Mary books are in your It seems like sometimes it's short and it's cold. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm finishing up seven, and I know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. As many as, as, as many as, as Charles says, as many as it takes. This is true. All right. Is it the, oh. <laughs> go ahead. You were, you were raised your hand. Okay, you go first and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> so polite, thank you. Is, uh, is Anita going to end up as Edward's best man? If they marry, yes, Anita gets to be his best man. Okay, how many people just want to go see her go to the bachelor party? <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> because, because she won't be planning it, Peter would be planning it. Oh. And that would go horribly. <laughs> Same, but you can't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's still sort of, and you, you, you can't you can't sit there and go, you know, uh, I have to people that, that I I am not so close to will go, what soap do you use or what what do you use? Even the detergent you use in your clothes can change the scent of you, which I thought was really cool when I started paying attention to that. And uh, nothing about running like a little cancer really makes me be much more sense oriented and. Uh, I don't know where sticking to people's skin, please do not say that I do. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make me more aware if I pass somebody and what I'm smelling doesn't smell like perfume. I will ask, sometimes I'll ask people, what do you use? <laughs> what do you use to clean your clothes? I'm like a little walking commercial. <laughs> okay. Other? Yes. Whatever happened to Miss Pringles? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to Mrs. Pringle? Um, we just, we began to be worried we'd get her killed. And so Anita moved. Um, I have a plot for Mrs. Pringle uh, where we at least get to babysit custard. <laughs> <laughs> but I just haven't been able to to get it on screen yet. And um, but babysitting custard means something's gone wrong for Mrs. Pringle. So it's like it's like it, good and bad at that. I can't think of anything story wise to include Mrs. Pringle in where something doesn't go wrong. For her. That just seems sad. Sorry. Uh, with the leopard part, yes, yes, we are going to do something. But uh, right now, what we're doing, we introduced were tigers, and uh, the next book we're going to be doing were tigers. That's that's really what we're going to be exploring because we're going to be going out of town where one of the cities is mostly run by the tigers. And um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, on the Mary blog, uh, yeah, I, when, when we lost Frost, I cried. And, uh, he also made me cry again in, in the scene where he tells Mary how he will love her forever, even she ages. And I'm just going, oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, when you make yourself cry, you've either done something horribly wrong and you have to throw the scene out, or you've done something horribly right, and you can keep it. And you won't know which until the, the ink dries and you step away from it. You're too emotional about it. Um, let's just say it's been a hard marriage. It's been hard for her. She's not had a good time. That's why we want to kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, being able to don't actually like taste what the hard time, right? Like, what's your taste? Anita doesn't taste 
with our time, no, because when I first started writing Anita, it was 19... 90, 89, 90, when I first wrote the book, maybe maybe 98, maybe 89, or 88. Um, so there were no cell phones, really. There were big honking cell phones, and uh, technology has moved on, and I kept her with the technology we started with. And then I finally realized, you know, we're at book 16. So now she has a little flip cell phone, and we have just, with no explanation, have moved on in technology. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, we have skipped over the big flood in the early 90s, which I had a plot for, but it just began to be too much time had passed. So now she's caught up to us, because we've mentioned 9-11, uh, kind of obliquely. So we're caught up now, but really we shouldn't have. Really? because she's still not hit 30. <laughs> she's in her, you know, it's been a really, really busy, what, four years for her? <laughs> in, in reality, you, you'd be like in a little padded room by now with this level of violence. Um, or you'd be a lot more, she's reaching that level of working uh, violent crimes where she's either gonna have to do something else for a while, or, I don't know, she, she's been six years on violent crimes. That's a long, long time. And especially because she really isn't a cop. She kills things. She kills people. And she now sees them as people, which has been hard for her. Okay. Uh, somebody else had a question in the back. Um, will Anita ever turn into a where? Will Anita ever turn to a where? Bets are off the table on that one. I don't know. And that's the truth. I, I hope not. It will complicate my life. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to mention hers. But I don't know, and there's always a chance she could end up being another pan wear, which would be both cool and complicated. So I don't know. All right. Yes. The ends of your of the books seem to come so abruptly. Uh, it's like there's just a couple of paragraphs at the end or after the, the big the big kind of scene. Is there a reason for that? That it doesn't go into more of a domesticity or you know, whatever's going on? Why are the chapters as it, after the action has the main action has happened so short? I'm done. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. We've had our fun. Everyone's dead. The other one dead. For the most part, we've, we've captured the bad guy or killed him. Uh, we solved the mystery. I'm done. And so we're just tying a few loose ends. <laughs> Because, believe it or not, that's what happens in real life. <laughs> bang, 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 bullets flying, all of a sudden, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> paperwork. Okay, that is one thing. Anita does not do enough paperwork to be a real U.S. Marshal. Yeah. <laughs> she does not do yeah. nearly enough paperwork. How many people have seen Hot Fuzz? Okay, that movie has just about as much paperwork as you really have. Almost. 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 Not, not, not quite, but it's the closest... I've, I've, asked, I've asked friends that are cops and gone, okay, is that closer? And Hot Fuzz actually is closer to the amount of paperwork you have to do every time you do anything. So Anita skips a lot of the paperwork. I think for killing people, there'd be a hell of a lot of paperwork. I mean, I don't know. If you, if you, if you, clear, if, if you, if you have to draw your gun and don't shoot anybody, if, if, you're see, if somebody sees you do it, the paperwork is tremendous. Any given incident is going to be a minimum of three to five pages. Minimum. If you arrest somebody, five.